Hey Gina, so it all happened right here on the 1300 block of Magazine. That Loyola grad student, she's got some scratches and some bruises. She's left the city and she's not too sure when she's going to come back. Look closely. You're watching video of Gabby Marino. After working out Thursday night at around 630, Marino gets in her white Volvo. She said she looked at her phone, answered a text, and before she knew it, I heard my car door open and saw the person in front of me. It was like my life literally flashed before my eyes in that moment. Marino says after she got out, she tried to get her purse from the passenger seat. The driver sped off. Yes, I did almost get hit by the bus after I they took off in my car and it flung me into the street. The bus almost hit me. And so in that moment, too, I, I honestly thought I was about to die getting hit by that bus. Luckily, they they saw me, their headlights were on, and they, they were able to stop uh, right before they could have hit me. Oh, she's traumatized as would be natural in this kind of situation and a little beat up. So I saw uh, photos of, you know, a bunch of cuts and bloody and bruised up. So Aaron Romney owns the studio where Marino was working out. She says crime in the city, it is out of control. I know now five clients who have had guns put to their heads in carjackings, and of course it's a huge concern that our physical safety uh, is at risk. In this case, a gun wasn't used, but Romney says change it is needed, and people want to feel safe in New Orleans. I think this is just an issue for all of us to band together, demand more accountability uh, from the from the police force, from our politicians. I think we just need to get, we need to feel safe in our own city again. And Marino, she says that she is doing okay. She's got some cuts and some bruises. No arrests have been made in this case. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.